All right, so in this video, we want to determine the maximum and minimum number of zeros that each of these polynomial nominal functions have. So before we start the questions, let me quickly explain the maximum and minimum number of zeros. Let's start with even functions. And I'm gonna pick a function like x to the power of four to begin with. So if I look at x to the power of four, it can look quite a few different ways, but one possibility is that we have no zeros at all. So for any even function, doesn't matter what the degree is, as long as it's even, your minimum number of zeros is going to be zero because it can always turn back before it ever hits the axis. And same with the negative even function. Let's think about the maximum number of zeros. So I know that an even function has of degree four has three turning points as a maximum. If you don't understand why, you can look at my video about turning points. But this function has a maximum of three turning points. And if we look, at, if we have three turning points, we can have a maximum of four zeros. So if you look at an even function, the minimum number of zeros is always zero. And the maximum number of zeros is the same as the degree. Let's talk about odd functions. I'll talk about x5 for an odd function. So we know that x5 can look like this. And this is the minimum number of zeros, which is one zero. We also know that x5 has a maximum number of turning points is four. So if I draw four turning points and continuously cut through the axis, that's two, that's three, and this is the fourth turning point right there. If I look over here and count, I have one, two, three, four, five zeros. So for even functions, your minimum number of turning points is gonna be zero. For odd functions, the minimum is going to be one. And for both even and odd functions, the maximum number of zeros is going to be the same as the degree of the function. That's how you can answer every question, but I'll do extra steps and draw out each case for you as well so you can understand it better. So this is an even number of, I mean, an even degree. It's negative as well, negative coefficient. So I know it's gonna look something like that. That's my minimum number of zeros, which is just zero. Then I know it can also look like this, which is the maximum number of zeros, which is four. So my min is zero, my max, is four. You don't need to draw the graphs, but I'm gonna draw them just for a bit of extra explanation. Generally, you can answer these questions without drawing the graph, so if you'll understand the concept really well. Odd function over here, positive. So minimum number of zeros looks like this, which is one. Maximum number of zeros looks like this, which is five. This one has a degree of three, it's a negative function. So minimum number of zeros again is one and maximum will be three. And last question here, we gotta multiply all the X terms to actually find our leading coefficient and our degrees. Two X times X is two X squared times 3x is 6x cubed, times 4x is 24x4. This is a positive even function, so I know that the minimum number of zeros is zero, and then the maximum is gonna be four. 